Hello, hello. Welcome back to our channel. My name is Steph. If this is your first time here, welcome. My grandson's name is Remington. We call him Remy. He calls me Mimi. So I am a homeschooling Mimi and I am glad that you have tuned in today to check us out. Um, to our subscribers, thank you for subscribing. You mean the world to us. You do. If you would like to go on our journey with us, we'd love to have you. So you can hit that red subscribe button. Doesn't cost a thing for you to do it. Just hit that button and you can go on our journey with us. We'd love to have you. I am going to talk about something that I have tried to avoid talking about. <laughs> it's something that I get emailed about a lot. Our first year of homeschooling, right? And during our first mm, quarter, I guess is what we call it. Um, our first, you know, nine weeks, um, we had curriculum issues. People have asked why these curriculums didn't work for my grandson. And I really haven't given an answer like there's this specific reason or given an answer like, um, well, it was this, and it was this, it's and it was It's because this. I don't want to discourage anybody from the curriculum. And not that I have, you know, any, <laughs> any clout or anything like that. It's just that I know when I was watching Homeschool Moms, if somebody said, okay, it didn't work, and this is why, I was like, oh my geez, you know. And then when I was on this rabbit hole of why didn't it work, why didn't it work, why didn't it work. So I didn't want to be in their rabbit hole of <laughs> why it didn't work. <laughs> but I also know that if you're watching my videos, you know, I, I do have quite a few people wondering what was it that it didn't work because my kindergartner is getting ready to start first grade. And, you know, we're looking at this or we're looking at that. And I'm going to try and word it in the way that I have on my heart and no other way except that the way that I feel it needs to be worded. And I hope that it helps and I hope it does not discourage you from whatever your plan is, but I hope that it is information that helps you out. So if you're into that, if you want to learn more about our journey and the two that I'm going to go over today are Bookshark and The Good and the Beautiful. And we'll start there after this YouTube second. Meet me on the other side. Okay, so it's 2020, right? And it's spring break. And we all get told that we're not going back to school. That um, the kids are going to be learning virtual. It was at that time that I pretty much decided that we were gonna homeschool. I just didn't know exactly how we were going to work that out because I was still working and my husband was working. So I researched curriculum and the one that just kept coming up was Bookshark. I loved the idea of uh, homeschooling with literature. I loved the idea of teaching uh, with literature I love the idea of teaching history with literature um, because I am a fact person. You guys know this about me. But there were a few things that I didn't know. And the first thing was the language arts. So we had the history, the bookshark, you know, learning through history. We had that package. And then I also ordered their language arts program. And I ordered um, level B because it was from ages six to eight. So we get the language arts in and I'm really overwhelmed when Bookshark comes in because it is a lot of stuff. We got to lesson four on the um, language arts uh, and he just, he just shut down. So I thought, okay, this is kind of, this is kind of like, you know, I know, I know he doesn't know this. I went and got the level A thinking, okay, maybe because this is a little bit more advanced, it is for ages, you know, six through eight, 
maybe we need level A and um, I'll go I'll go down you know a step and meanwhile we're kind of doing the history and mm, nope he didn't have any of that <laughs> and again he is a sensitive kid and let me clarify something when I say he is a sensitive kid I mean he is a lot like me he is an empathetic person he feels empathy he can relate in a way um, he feels the emotion he feels it strongly and so when we are talking about history and like I said the other day I had to reword a couple of passages in my father's dragon because I knew that if I talked about how they treated that dragon and if I used the words verbatim he would probably never pick up a chapter book again changing up the language just a little bit you know still knowing you know it's harsh but using language that I knew he could handle we're good um, history is going to be a hard subject for me to teach it is because he is so empathetic so that is why I thought we would go through literature because it is books and yes they are based on uh, fictional characters but we can also read about the real characters that seems to be working and that is something that I want to continue I just have to find the right the right mix so level A no it was too okay we're going over letter A B C D we're going through the alphabet here you know and in my mind I'm thinking okay we're behind so I'm still having this public school mentality of behind who? Who are we behind? I know I sound like an owl, but who are we behind? <laughs> you know? So I had to get through through that as well. It's not that Bookshark didn't work. It just it wasn't the right formula for him. And it wasn't the right formula for me because I had no idea what I was doing. I just didn't. I got on the Bookshark forum and I said, okay, how I have these two levels. This one is, is too uh, young. This one is a little bit too advanced. What am I supposed to do? You know, what, so I need some help if somebody can really help me. And I got, I'll mix the two together. What does it get? <laughs> does that? even mean mix the two together I mean you know I need a little bit more help than mix the two together you know um, so I had a lady who was very nice and she was able to help me out a little bit and we kind of pulled a little bit from this a little bit from that um, and it just wasn't just wasn't happening with him he just he just was shutting down and I think that it was a confidence issue he he liked the program until we got to the part that he didn't know and then that's when he shut down and then that's when I didn't know how to help him get over that hump right I, I didn't know what what to do so I start researching and I'm like okay let me just kind of put these you know in the corner here and what you know let me see what else is out there so I go and I decide the good and the beautiful it looks great it's like right there you know where I think he needs to be it's not too kindergarten and it's not too first grade it's somewhere in the middle and at least when I was looking at it that's the way I felt and then <laughs> the curriculum shortage happened <laughs> and I'm telling you I just could not win for losing <laughs> so um, yeah so then I went on and uh, you could still get the PDFs um, but you know I I really just kind of wanted the curriculum I didn't want to have to go get it you know um, bind it and make it all pretty and stuff like that that's another mistake here I am comparing myself and my supplies to other people's 
and it didn't need to be done that way. It just didn't. So I find it on uh, Facebook Buy and Sell. Um, a friend of mine mentioned to go on uh, the homeschool, you know, buy and sell, go on beautiful. Somebody was selling the whole entire kindergarten set, and I thought, great, I'll have it here in a few days. Nope. Mm-mm. No. Three to four weeks. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, oh my gosh. So then, um, yeah. So then I buy the PDF. And we get to lesson eight. Again, shuts down. He doesn't want to do it. He doesn't like it. He just doesn't want to do it. And I'm like, okay, what is going on? Because lesson eight, here we go with more of the three letter CVC and here comes that short vowel, the I, that short, that short vowel sound. So then I'm like, okay, I, I can't have him crying. You know, I can't have him upset. Uh, I am like, okay, I, I, I don't know what to do. Um, so then, of course, I go back to YouTube. <laughs> I go back to Facebook. <laughs> and that's when... Master Books appears at our door, and I will go into that in another video. But here's what I want to say. I made a lot of rookie mistakes. One, I took assessments where I thought he was, and I didn't have him sit down and do the assessment. Um, I panicked because there was a curriculum shortage. It was just, it was just 2020. I couldn't even find a desk. The one that's sitting behind me was the last one, okay? In the whole entire store, <laughs> it was the last one. It was like this desk shortage, paper shortage. I mean, curriculum shortage. They were, you know, curriculum was like three, four months out. Okay. I mean, it was just, I don't know how many of you experienced this, but I went into a full fledged, oh my gosh, because we had already, you know, pushed our school date to September. And here I am again thinking, okay, we're going to get behind. Okay. I, I don't know how to get over this hump. I don't know what to do. Um, so I'm looking at YouTube videos and I'm, then I, I kind of find myself comparing, um, myself to where he should be, what he should be doing. And mm -mm, no, no, but on top of that, I'm trying to do something in the middle of, of a pandemic, in the middle of a move, we were moving, we were having, we were having our home built okay <laughs> so there was life going on and there was a 2020 thing going on that none of us had experienced plus I'm trying to raise my grandson and now I'm going to be responsible for his education ah! <laughs> okay <laughs> so curriculum for the good and the beautiful it just didn't work at the time because it, he, it, it reminded him of public school. And I'm just, I'm going to be honest. It just reminded him of public school. And Bookshark didn't work because I didn't have the tools or I wasn't knowledgeable enough to, to go, okay, let's start at week 18. You know, I mean, I, I just thought all the check marks had to be checked and they didn't, you know. Um, a few things in my life for Remington um, so that I could do this. And not only that, but I needed to find something to build his confidence up and I needed to do that quickly. So I phoned a friend who said, Bob Books, Master Books. Yeah. <laughs> And not not liking and he is the one that has to like the curriculum I could love it all day long he is the one that ultimately has to like it and he is the one yes I mean there is a certain part of me that has to like it because I gotta like teaching it right or it's just gonna come across as kind of dull and boring um, but 
you know, there's a, uh, there's a meat in the middle, but he gets a little bit more, you know, of the covers, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> <You know? laughs> he gets a little bit more. Um, so there we go. Until we meet again, be good to each other and be the sunshine in someone else's day.